Uh, next up, I'd like to welcome to the stage Philip O'Doncourt. His presentation title is, Is Your House Smarter Than a Mud Hut? His department is mechanical and aerospace engineering. He's also uh, studied and lived in South Africa and Britain. His future career plans include uh, pursuing academic research in the field of energy optimization. Welcome to the stage, Philip, and a ready, set, pitch. Everyone here lives in a building. And if I had to guess, when it comes to structural stability, basic amenities, and watching Netflix, your home is light years ahead of this one. Yet when it comes to intelligence, you know, the ability to make sense of the world around them and the people living within, turns out you might as well be living in this because just like this hut, your home, and millions of homes across America cannot think for themselves, or at least they haven't ever before. But what if they could? Imagine your bedroom waking you up at just the right time in your sleep cycle. As you crawl out of bed, the lights automatically adjust to complement the natural light coming in. Around your home, sensors monitor your vital signs, proactively adjusting to, to the indoor temperature and air quality to suit your needs while shutting down appliances and services not in use to conserve energy. This is but a snapshot of the intelligent home experiences I build. And how I get there is the really cool part. You see, every time you turn on the lights or use a microwave in your home, your actions leave a unique energy signature. These signatures contain tiny fragments of your most innate energy habits. And given the right focus, they can tell me surprisingly a lot about you, like your favorite temperature preferences, your laundry routine, even your cooking habits, or in my case, the lack thereof. And I learn all this using something known as cognitive computing. It's a capability which allows me to take your home's data and have it processed and understood. It's about finding trends and patterns and correlations within your data and using that to build assistive technologies which are able to predict and address your home needs before you even realize them. To my mom, this all sounds really creepy, and rightfully so. <laughs> but before you join her in raising your pitchforks, you need to understand that fundamentally, this is no different to say Netflix monitoring your viewing habits to make movie recommendations. They're both about personalizing your experiences, and for that, we need a personal look into your private life. But to be clear, this is not about adding a few smart plugs to your home, or even having Alexa order you flowers. That's indeed part of it. But at its core, it's about automating the most mundane parts of your home using your own energy habits, not some pre-programmed software designed by engineers who don't know you or understand how you like to use your home. This is the home experience truly reimagined, freeing up time for you to enjoy the most rewarding parts of actually living in your home. The smart home is not yet here, but through research like mine, we're taking huge strides towards finally helping homes in America, from Kevin's to yours, to be truly smart. Thank you. The First Place Award goes to Philip O'Duncourt. <laughs>